With a blank WordPress installation, you'll see the website looks pretty plain. There's no menu, no pages, no content. The first thing we want to do is start creating our pages and our posts and adding content to the website. That way, as we start adding in images, we add in functionality, we add in a theme, it'll all really come together nicely and we'll be able to start seeing exactly how our website will turn out. So to create a page in my dashboard, I can go to Pages and Add New. Now all I need to do is enter the title and the text for the particular page. If you do not have your content written, or if you're setting up a website for a client, they have not sent you the content yet, you can use a dummy text generator like this one, and it will allow you to come up with a specific number of paragraphs, words, or lists, and you can generate that and copy and paste your text. This way, it will allow you to see the layout of your website a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in some of this dummy text. Now you'll see on the right hand side you can save this as a draft if you're not ready to publish, but if you are you can go ahead and select the publish button. If your particular theme is going to allow for drop down menus, you can select the parent here. This means if I want the about page that I'm creating to appear underneath of this sample page as a drop down, I would select the parent as sample page. But I'm not going to do that here. Now the default template, if you have a standard website with, let's say, all the content on the left and a sidebar on the right, you can leave it as default template. This page will appear as all the other pages do on your website. However, if you want to have a full width page or you've defined another template within your theme, you can select that here. For the most part, you're going to leave it as the default template. Now also, depending on the theme that you end up selecting, if your pages will have a featured image, then you can add that here. That typically happens more with posts than pages. So I'll go ahead and publish this page. Now if I want to create another page, I can go back to the left hand menu and click Add New, or I can click the Add New button here, and I can repeat the process. So stop here, take a couple minutes, and add in the pages that you would like to see on your website. If you have a lot of pages that you plan on adding, go ahead and just start by adding in the pages that you plan to have linked to in your menu because we'll be setting that up here shortly.